Welcome everyone to another episode of 10 Minutes With. I am super excited. We kind of get um, a little bit of a two for one today with having St. John's and St. Ben's here um, to, to, uh, to talk about their setup on campus and uh, super pumped to have, uh, have Joseph on and I'm going to let him introduce himself and then we'll get right into our questions. So Joseph, welcome. Thanks, Eric. Yeah, uh, my name is Joseph Schwedes. I'm the uh, admissions rep and recruiter here at the uh, College of St. Benedict and St. John's University. Um, I did go there for a couple years and actually I ended up finishing my degree out at uh, Notre Dame in Australia. Um, so we can jump right into these questions, Eric. That's awesome. Um, I'm, I'm interested to hear about your experience with that too. So um, before we get maybe into these questions a little bit, you know, you and I were talking before recording about um, kind of campus, what's, what it looks like right now with COVID and the pandemic and just sort of some of the changes around campus. You want to maybe just start with that, what's going on? Yeah, so on campus, we've really taken the stance that we're going to be as careful as we possibly can be so we can keep uh, our students on campus. Uh, so in order to do that, we've done a few things. First of all, we've gone to a block schedule, which means that uh, for four weeks at a time, you'll be taking a single class, and this is just happening this year. Um, and so for four weeks, you take a single class. The next four weeks, you take your next class. Um, so you do go to those classes every day, a few hours a day. Um, and then at the end of the block, you then switch to your next class. Those generally last around four weeks. And, and another thing we've done, um, is every class is uh, has the option of being in person, but also has the option of being virtual. Uh, so all the classrooms do have cameras that are that can rotate, so they can actually look around the classroom. Um, and so the classes are being broadcasted live and recorded. Uh, so that also adds the benefit if you wanted to um, review something in class, you you can definitely access uh, all of those classes online. Um, and throughout the year, we've slowly been. Um, uh, allowing larger and larger groups to sort of gather. Um, at the beginning of the year, it started very small. I think 12 people was the maximum. Um, but sort of as the year's been going along, we've been slowly opening up to more activities, doing things like outside movies, you know, opening up uh, the gyms uh, eventually um, and having time slots uh, for all those things. So uh, we're really just kind of playing it by ear and trying to open up uh, as we can. That's uh, those are that's really awesome to hear. Um, you know, I've done a few of these now through the the pandemic, and it sounds like you guys are doing some pretty unique things. Um, that's awesome. I, I'll be curious to hear what uh, some of the students think about the block scheduling and uh, even the online in person camera. You know, the, you may it's a. Uh, I mean, some of that's pretty cool stuff to hear. So um, good for you guys and kind of leading the charge in that area. Mm -hmm. Um. So St. Ben's and St. John's, right? It's sort of a unique setup. Um, you know, if you had, uh, you know, it, they obviously both have great opportunities. They're, you know, the guys campus, the girls campus. But if you had to just give us kind of that elevator pitch, you know, that that 30 second, one minute ride up in the elevator of what campus is all about, what the colleges are represent, you know, what would that look like? Um, or what would you say on that elevator ride? So I think the first thing to address, obviously, is the fact that we are two campuses. Um, so St. John's being more um, out in the woods, kind of outdoorsy, you know, we have seven lakes on campus, almost 3,000 acres of land, um, 20 miles of hiking trails out here. And then St. Ben's, uh, you're in the community. Uh, there are, you know, restaurants, bookshops, coffee shops. Um, you're really kind of part of the college town uh, there. So you really do kind of have the ability to experience both. And although it is a men's campus and a women's campus, uh, really the only time it's going to be separate is where you're sleeping. So the girls obviously will be sleeping uh, at St. Ben's uh, and the young men will be sleeping at St. John's. But otherwise, having a two campuses really just means you have two of everything. So there are two science buildings, two libraries, two gyms, two workout facilities, uh, two buffet um, dining facilities. Um, and it, it really does, uh, um, yeah, it really allows you to be more specialized as well. Uh, so, for example, instead of um, having a science building where everything is, uh, at St. John's, the science building is focused more on biology. And at St. Ben's, the science building is focused more on chemistry. And you'll see, you'll see splits like this um, often, like the languages will often be held at St. Ben's. Um, and uh, business will op op often be held at St. John's. So you really do get to be a little bit just more uh, specific with those. 
Um, and also, uh, we really do kind of emphasize the fact that we are, you know, a small school in the sense that um, our average class size is around 19 students per class. Uh, we've got the maximum you would ever have is 35 students in a class, and those would be more of your intro level kind of first year courses. I mean, as you go along, uh, your classes are going to get smaller and smaller to the point where I actually had a class where there was uh, sure. only three three other people in that class. So um, really, as you as you move uh, forward in your major to your junior and senior year, you're really going to get to know uh, the, those people that you're studying with. You know, that's uh, I, I think that's hard for students to really understand sometimes until they go up and see campus. The idea that it's not just guys, it's not just girls, you know, like it is mixed together. It is Absolutely. you could have classes all over all or both. So, that's why when students ask me about that kind of thing, I always tell them they have to go see it. And I think you're exactly right. Like the the St. Ben side is is very different than the the St. Joe the St. John side. You know, um, my wife and I stopped at a uh, on campus just because we were driving through and we uh, ate at one of the restaurants downtown and couldn't believe how much it's grown up on the the St. Joe side there. Like it's just so. Uh, it, I mean, it was college central over there. I was super impressed with how it looks. Yeah, it's definitely shot up in the last. Um, yeah, yeah, it really has. So th th this is hard for, for college reps to answer, but if you, you know, if you could tell me, you know, what are like the most popular programs or like what are the t three most popular majors or maybe something that's unique um, that students are studying on campus, you know, um, anything about the programming that you wanted to share? Yeah, so our most popular major, just straight by the numbers, is our Global Business Commission. Um, and so this is a course that's mostly focused on practice. Uh, uh, all the uh, professors teaching these courses are professionals who have come out of the real world uh, and into uh, academia. Um, so you're getting taught by people who have been uh, CEOs, who have been accountants, who have been business executives. And we've had people like Cory Berry, who's now the uh, CEO of Best Buy, come through this program, uh, and she speaks to it um, uh, very highly. Uh, another program that I like to talk about is our nursing program. Uh, we've actually just completely revamped our uh, nursing facilities at the St. Ben's campus. Um, and I know having family in the medical profession, how revered uh, the nurses coming out of St. John's and St. Ben's are. Um, you know, having the ability to practice in really top level facilities um, here at, at St. Ben's is, is awesome. And having the ability to get placements in local hospitals um, sure. around something very impressive as well. Um, and the last thing I'd like to talk about is our, our biology and environmental studies program um, here at St. John's and St. Ben's. Uh, because we are located uh, on the Arboretum here at St. John's, which is over 3,000 acres of land, of, of forest, of grasslands, of lakes out here, uh, we do have a pretty unique ability to be able to study uh, Minnesota's natural um, environment here. Um, so whether that be sampling soil, sampling water, um, measuring how controlled burns um, affect the forests and the grasslands here. Um, this is something that people are studying all year round uh, around campus, um, you know, really taking advantage of, of this awesome, awesome natural uh, resources we have here. Very cool. What about, uh, what about student life? Things going on on campus, clubs, organizations, um, things that you can maybe highlight for us that, makes, that uh, make you all unique in your offerings? Yeah, definitely. Um, so we have a, a program called the JEC, which is the Joint Events Council. And what these, this is a student run program and what they're in charge of, of making sure that uh, every night, Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night, all of those nights there was something going on. So whether that be a, a roller disco or a, a, a dance or a concert or a comedy show um, or bubble soccer or a movie, you know, there's always something, you know, Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night, guaranteed something's going on on campus. Um, and that's a really great opportunity um, to get involved and get to know people and also just be involved. You know, like the, the more of those uh, you go to, the more people you're going to meet, the wider you're going to spread your network, you know, the, the better your experience is going to be. For sure, for sure. I couldn't agree more. Um, so families that are, you know, a lot of families that might be watching this, families that are thinking about coming up for a visit, anything in the St. Joe area that you would recommend? I know I mentioned and we both kind of talked about how it's really um, blossomed. Any favorite restaurants or coffee shops or things that uh, stand out? 
Well, there's Bo Diddley's in uh, in St. Joe, which is a classic. Um, I know my parents, when they went to college at St. John's and St. John's, they went there all the time. Uh, it's a sandwich shop, um, mm -hmm. and uh, people will walk in there and say, you know, this place hasn't changed in 40 years. And, you know, there's a reason it hasn't changed. It's because it's so awesome. Uh, so it, it's a sub sandwich shop. Stop by. <laughs> Get yourself uh, roast beef with the works, and, and you'll be happy. Believe me. <laughs> I love it. Um, let's talk cost a little bit. Um, you know, I know people. You know, one of the big questions for families, and, and especially as uh, things evolve with through the pandemic here, um, is cost. So, what would you say about uh, people who about private school cost? Um, maybe some financial aid possibilities or scholarship options that you guys are are offering um, anything that you want to touch on in regards to that piece? Yeah, definitely. Um, so a lot of times, you know, people will look at that private college cost and say, you know, whoa, that's been out of my league. Um, but something that makes that really not the case is the fact that uh, immediately upon acceptance, you're automatically eligible uh, for uh, an academic achievement scholarship. And those range from $15,000 all the way up to $32,000. So no matter what, if you're accepted, you're going to be somewhere in that range. And on our website, you'll actually be able to find um, how your GPA and or ACT scores correlate to that range. Um, but 95% of the students who come here at St. John's and St. Ben's um, are within that 15 to 32,000 range. And that's just the academic achievement scholarship. We also have need-based scholarship, uh, which includes um, student loans, and uh, um, student employment. Um, so if you fill out the FAFSA and you qualify for student employment, that's also a chunk of money that you'll be able to earn throughout your time here at St. John's and St. Ben's through uh, a student job. Um, and another thing I like to point out is that we do actually have a 90% four year graduation rate, which means that you're gonna be paying for four years, pretty much guaranteed. You don't have to worry about paying for that fifth year or that sixth year. You know, when you come here, you're, you're being guaranteed, almost guaranteed that you're going to be able to graduate in four years. So you don't have to worry about more uh, extra price there. Awesome. That is uh, those, all those. And I think maybe the bottom line is you just never eliminate it until you get that financial aid back. Absolutely. Like, do don't let the sticker price. Yeah. yeah, do the FAFSA, do, you know, apply. Don't let that sticker price scare you off. If this is a, a place that you see yourself at, apply and, and, and then see what happens. And I think that is uh, the most important message to take away from what you just said. And that application is free. Um, yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. You mentioned the ECT. Are you test optional right now or are you uh, still requiring the ACT? We are test optional. Um, the only time that you would need an ACT is if you want that $32,000 scholarship. Um, so the way our scholarships work is your ACT can help you get a better scholarship, but it cannot hurt you. So we will take your ACT or your GPA, whichever one earns you the most amount of money. But if you don't submit the ACT, that's just fine. We'll just go by your GPA. So we are test optional. Good. Cool. Awesome. Um, you mentioned your college experience a little bit um and you know anything that you wanted to highlight that you could share with us before we uh, uh have some few final thoughts and head into our favorite rapid fire questions here that we like to end with definitely you know one final thing i definitely like to talk about is the study abroad program uh, so we've recently been ranked actually fifth in the nation uh, among all schools for a study abroad, abroad programs uh, so we have 15 or 17 different full semester long programs in 15 different countries. Most of these cost just about as much as a regular semester cost. So you don't have to worry about um, any extra price. Um, and these programs are, you know, Spain, Guatemala, Chile, um, China, Japan, Australia, um, Austria, wow. Germany, Italy, Greece, you know, pretty much anywhere in the world you want to go. Uh, and just about 60% of our students now study abroad. Um, whether it be for a full semester or for a Christmas break, Thanksgiving break, Easter break, or summer break, you know, uh, whatever works with their schedule. Um, but like I said, about 60% of the students do it. Um, those who did it always love it. Those who didn't always say, I regret not doing it. Um, and, you know, I, I studied abroad and ended up actually transferring to the school to which I uh, uh, studied abroad in Australia. Um, so that sort of speaks to the, the quality of that program there. Mm -hmm. uh, but definitely something that I would highly recommend looking into. Awesome. What a cool experience that you were able to do that and that kids on campus are able to do that. So that's, uh, that's awesome. That's one of the things that 
I always recommend to students, you only get that opportunity once, definitely, definitely take advantage of that. Yeah. Anything that we missed on St. Ben's or St. John's that you wanted to, to highlight real fast, or are you ready for your rapid fire questions? Yeah, I think, I think I'm good. Maybe a couple of notable alum I always like to bring up, um, but we have Mark Van de Heij, who's a NASA astronaut who lived in the Apple Space Station a couple years ago. I already talked about Corey Berry. She's the CEO at Best Buy. She she loves coming back to campus to visit. But another another cool guy uh, is Dennis McDonough, who is actually uh, Obama's chief of staff when Obama was in White House for his last four years. Oh, so, cool. Um, he comes back to speak every couple of years as well. So it's very cool that that we have that Johnny Benny connection there. And I know the the networking outside, you know, is is huge on on campus. Uh, that's uh, that's awesome for students to hear, and I think it's great that you highlighted that. Um, let's uh, let's switch here. So these are fun, lighthearted, just a chance to get to see where your head's at here with some rapid fire questions. Um, I'm gonna just throw them at you, and we'll go from there. I did add a surprise one in on you. I didn't I didn't prepare for it, so uh, so heads up, it's coming your way here. Okay. Uh, cookies or cake? Hmm. Cookies, uh, cat or dog? Ooh, I would used to have said dog, but I'm going with cat now. Okay. Uh, pop, rock, country, or other type of music? Give me rock and roll. There it is. <laughs> Pancakes or waffles? Waffles, all the way. Good call. Hot chocolate or coffee? Coffee, not even a question. Yeah. <laughs> uh, morning or evening guy? Morning. Same here. Uh, day or night? Ooh. Oh, no, sorry. <laughs> I just asked you that. Yeah. Um, we'll go with the uh, day. <laughs> perfect. Perfect. Sorry, I kind of, that one got a little confusing there. I threw you off. Um, text message or calling? Ooh. Text me and call me. Oh, I like it. I like it. And then the last one, the curveball here, Tommy or Johnny? Oh my gosh. I'm not even going to answer that question. We're going we're gonna to let you guys. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, any final thoughts, advice for students and families watching this before we sign off? Relax. Your senior year is already messed up. There's no reason to stress about it even more. You can only control the things you can control, um, but you know there's a certain amount that's healthy to think about it and to be prepared going into college. But relax, enjoy it. Do your sports, do your activities, spend time with family, enjoy your senior year. Joseph, thank you so much for the time. Um, I think that's a great message to to end on. I uh, I'm. I'm thankful for the opportunity to have you on and to get to learn more about St. John's and St. Ben's. Um, have a great rest of your day. Yeah, thanks, Eric. I appreciate that.